Well, my name is Tom Lancollis, and I am the author of Sea Shaken Houses, which is a lighthouse history from Eddystone to the Fastnet. I wrote this book because I started out in building conservation and historic buildings and became really fascinated by these remote and strange um, Georgian and Victorian buildings uh, standing many miles out to sea, immersing myself deeply in the accounts of surviving lighthouse keepers and other kind of historical material. What I wanted to do was blend together like the human experience with the architecture in a way which maybe other books hadn't quite focused on. Because few people can really imagine how hard it was to build these structures. You know, I can't relate to how difficult it must have been. Um, and equally, few people can imagine how strange and hard it was to live within these structures cut off from the land for months at a time, um, surviving only with two other lighthouse keepers for company. You know, I had thought initially that lighthouses are like quite a niche subject, um, but actually they seem to appeal to a lot of people uh, and hold a sort of special fascination for, for a lot of us. And I think part of that is to do with um, the fact that so few of us actually get up close to lighthouses. Um, they exist on the horizon, like at the edges of your consciousness almost. And um, so you're forced to imagine like these kind of events and happenings and the romance and danger of distance and time and so on. When the book had come out, I got some really great letters, including one from an ex-lighthouse keeper who worked on the Wolf Rock, which is this amazing tower. Very dangerous and notorious among keepers for being tiny and prison-like, um, eight miles off the Land's End coast. And he had these remarkable um, stories about being in this lighthouse on Christmas Day, like alone with his two other keeper uh, colleagues and tuning into the emergency radio station just to try and hear another voice and hearing what must have been a, like a tipsy French lighthouse keeper across the channel singing um, some classical uh, like motets um, on Christmas Day. So the book's title comes from a, a Dylan Thomas poem, the prologue to his collective works, um, which came out in 1951. And at the time that he wrote this prologue, Dylan was living in a boathouse on the River Towie in Wales. Um, and he described this boathouse, which perches on the edge of, a, of an estuary, as his sea-shaken house on a breakneck of rocks, um, which is an extraordinary line to me because it seemed to exactly capture the offshore rock lighthouses I was writing about. They are sea-shaken houses standing on breaknecks of rocks. So it's a very good description of a boathouse, but it's a much, much better description of a lighthouse. So when people finish this book, I really hope they, they look out to sea a bit more. That's what I would really like. And what I really hope that they think more about and are inspired by it is the amazing offshore heritage that these rock lighthouses represent, these amazing stone strongholds that carry within them these amazing stories of human ingenuity, hope and endeavour.